Hello. Today I want to discuss about health. And I guess the question is, uh, how's your health? Now, when people think about health, they mostly generally think about physical health. But I really want to talk about five areas of uh, health. We talk about your psychological health, your physical health, your emotional health, your financial health, and of course, uh, your spiritual health. You know, I'm doing this recording a day after surgery, and uh, I, I give glory to God for, for healing. This year, I began the year by saying to myself, I'm going to make sure that I'm healthy in all the uh, five areas. So I joined the gym, I started work, working out, and I started watching what I eat. And then uh, yesterday when I went for surgery, I found out that I actually lost 15 pounds. I actually already knew because I could feel the inches around me that they were disappearing, which was great. But you must be physically healthy. So you need to try and watch what you eat and put some kind of exercise. What about psychological health? Because that's a big area for many people. For me, psychological health means avoiding um, negative people. I want, to, I want to be having positive thoughts. You know, those people call it uh, toxic uh, people. You need to avoid uh, toxic uh, people in your life. And then on the emotional aspect, which is tied to the psychological aspect, uh, you know, you need to try and avoid bad relationships. Those ones that drain you, people that just maybe come in to use you. Uh, you know, I like how uh, Half Pint, the Jamaican singer, talks about it, about don't be a substitute lover for somebody. Don't be like an afterthought for them. So try and get into healthy relationships uh, from now on. And then we talk about financial health. You know, I started looking at how much money I made, my investments, because it's really not an issue about how much money you make, but how much you keep. So why don't you take a look at your checkbook, at your finances? Do you need to make more money and reduce your expenditures? You must also be financially healthy, because that causes a lot of stress for people. But the fifth and the major part is your spiritual health. I love how Jesus says this to the disciples, both in uh, Mark, uh, Luke, and Matthew, about uh, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and uh, loses his own soul? And even Apostle Paul says in 1 Timothy 4, 8, that spiritual exercise profits uh, little. He doesn't say it doesn't, he's not saying it's not good, but he's talking about that it's more spiritual exercise is more important. And in 3 John 2, where it talks about, Beloved, I hope that you prosper and be in good health as your soul prospers. Some people only claim the financial prosperity aspect. But God is really more interested in your spiritual uh, prosperity. So I'll just say, what, what's the good of being a bodybuilder as opposed to being a soul or a spirit builder? So be a spirit builder. And the question is, when, when, did you go, when was the last time you had a checkup? For me, this year, I went through the whole thing. I know once you're over 15, you do uh, colonoscopy, prostate exam. I did the whole works, you know, HIV AIDS test, blood count. Uh, do every single test you need to do so you can have an understanding about your uh, physical uh, well-being. I even had to do an EKG and thank God for a clean bill of health. So whatever we're doing this year, make sure we are healthy all around. Amen? I want to pray and then we're going to Worship with a little song called Take Glory, Father. So everything that we do should bring honor and glory to God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege to come before your throne of grace. Let us be healthy all around. Let us not ignore any aspect. Above all, let us have a relationship with you and glorify your name in Jesus' name. Amen. This song is about Take Glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost, now forevermore. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost, now forevermore. So please go get a checkup, oral checkup, see your dentist, and get a spiritual checkup. Have a blessed week.